don't worry about following your passion. Now, if you have one, go for it. But if you don't have a single identifiable passion, that's okay. Passion largely comes after we commit ourselves to something, rather than being abundantly clear before we get started. Still, we need to start somewhere. It helps to pay attention to what keeps coming up in moments of silence. Of course, it's helpful if we actually make time for silence. There are countless problems and communities and people we could commit ourselves to, but we might find ourselves often thinking about one. Sometimes it feels as if something or someone is trying to find us. If so, try it out. It might flop, perhaps we discover a hobby rather than a vocation, but it might be something more. When we move in the direction of our curiosity, we learn about ourselves and about how God might be calling us. We might even discover our passion in the process.